The planet is fine, the people are fucked. It's not important to save the planet. It's more important to save yourself and the planet may come. You know, the planet's gonna be here. We'll go away. We'll go away because we'll fix that up. We'll arrange that. We'll self-immolate. We'll, we'll be gone. Dinosaurs had their chance. There was an age of reptiles. Now it's the age of primates. And who knows? Maybe it'll be the insects next. It's not up to us. It's not divinely ordained. We're here on chance. And we're going to go away. And the planet will heal. The planet will heal because that's what it does. It heals itself. It's a self-healing organism. It changes and grows. It'll incorporate all of our dead cities into itself. And it will become something else. But it will still be going around the sun for at least a few more billion years or whatever. So, we're, this whole thing, we have to save the planet by not putting diapers in the landfill. That's, that's too short-sighted, it doesn't do anything. You have to change yourself, and we'll never do that, because the dollars now, it's everybody wants a dollar and a toy. Everybody's got a cell phone that will make pancakes and rub their balls, so they don't, they, nobody wants to rock the boat, nobody wants to change, don't change anything. And we're, we're in a nice downward glide. I call it circling the drain. That's what I'm going to call my next book, Circling the Drain. And the, and the circles get smaller and smaller, faster and faster. You watch a drain, you watch a singer. <laughs> I will be gone. And that's fine. I welcome it. I wish I could live a thousand years to watch it from a distance so I could see it all. No, it lifts me up. It lifts me up because I gave up on this stuff. I gave up on my species, and I gave up on my uh, fellow Americans. I gave up on my country. Because I think they all, I think we squandered great gifts. I think humans were given great, great gifts. Walking upright, binocular vision, opposable thumb, large brain, making tools. Make tools, large brain, large brain, make better tools. Talk, have to link language. You take this, put in here. We learn language, brain got bigger, language. We grew. We had great gifts, and we gave it up all up for both man, uh, for both money and uh, God. God and man, and both. We gave it up to the high priests. It's your job. To, God's will. That's what they say. People say it's God's will. It means God can do anything he wants, so I pray. They say you pray for something. Okay, why did he even answer my prayer? Well, it's God's will. Well, if it's God's will, why did he even pray in the first place? He's going to do what he wants anyway. We gave it all up to superstition, primitive superstition, primitive shit. Sky looking down, keeping track of what we do, make sure we don't do the wrong thing. If we do, he puts us in hell and we burn forever. That kind of shit is very limiting. It's very limiting for this brain we have. So we keep ourselves limited. And then we want a toy and a gizmo and gold. And we want shiny things. And we want something to plug in that'll make big, big, big things for us. And, 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 and all that shit is nothing. It's nothing. We gave it all up. And Americans, who also had great gifts, when you take the theory of democratic rule, self-government, okay, they did. They started off wrong. They owned slaves. They didn't let women vote. They didn't let people be on land vote. Fine. They got off on the wrong foot. But the ideas were good. But we fucking blew that. We polluted it. We polluted it with this stuff, things, material goods, games, gizmos, toys, gadgets. Possessions. I just got a big truck. He says, see this truck? It's bigger than mine. I'm getting a new truck. Get, here's a big truck. Oh, I'm getting that one. That's what you got a video or a DVD too? He don't have a DVD. I got a DVD. Whatever happened, and all that will happen, you know? And that's why I'm divorced from it now. I see it from a distance. I give myself a divorce. I said, George, emotionally you have no stake in this. You don't care one way or another. So watch it. Have fun. You know what? I say it this way. When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. And when you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. And some of us get to sit there with notebooks. And I'm a notebook kind of Oh my God, did you see that? And I watch the freak show, and I get my notes, and I make up stuff about it, and I talk about the freaks. And the freaks are all human, and they're like me, and they're all the same, we're all the same. I'm not better, I'm not different, I'm just a part now. I'm separate, I'm over here, because I put myself out of the mix. I don't have a stake in the outcome. I'm not a cheerleader for a given outcome now. Oh, they say if you scratch a cynic, you'll find a disappointed idealist. And I would admit that somewhere underneath all of this, there's a little flicker of a flame of idealism that would love to see it all change, but it can't. 
do it. It can't happen that way. And incremental change, it just seems like the pile of shit is too deep. It seems like there's too much to do. To do it all, to do everything you would need to clean this act up, human, human, you know. To, and, and there are forces that don't want that. You have big companies, big pharmaceuticals, big oil, big petrochemical, big uh, insurance, big real estate, big agribusiness, all these people's feedings, and they don't give a shit about borders anymore. It's all international, it's multinational. There are no borders. This is obsolete. Someday, someday, if we all lasted long enough, someday there'd be no borders. There'd be one language and one currency. That would happen. But we're still, we still, you know what Robin Anton Wilson said? Every border in Europe is an arbitrary line where two groups of bandits grew tired of fighting and decided to rest for a while. That's all we are about. No, no, what do they got? They got bigger stones on the other. Oh, you see the guys look down up at the people in the cliff? They got trees. Let's go, let's get to shit out of them. They got women there. You know, we always want what we don't have. And I, I'm happy with what comes my way and, uh, and um, getting to write these things I write.